morning, everyone. Abraham Carranza coming to you from My Mesh Mind. <laughs> and Emily Carranza. And Gillis. I uh, just wanted to give you guys a little bit of value today. Uh, we've got our class coming up tomorrow, so we're going to have a, a live, live, webinar. Uh, live webinar. And uh, a couple of key notes that we've been talking about this week is going to be on persistence and, uh, and organized planning. And somebody had left a message, and they wanted to discuss about fear, because we're talking about how uh, one of the biggest things that's holding people back and holding them back from accomplishing uh, bigger goals or setting goals and uh, changing their life is it's fear um, and that's going to be actually one of the defining uh, uh, thoughts that's really in majority of people's minds majority of the time and it's it's fear doubt and worry and that fear doubt and worry because it's such a strong energy anytime you're in that in in uh, those energies which is it's ultimately it's fear comes doubt and then comes worry, right? Anytime you're in that, that state of mind, what you're doing is you're actually bringing more of that into your life. You're gonna attract that. And that's a negative vibration. And what we need to understand is first, a lot of people were talking about this law of attraction. Mm -hmm. The law of attraction is a secondary law. The primary law is vibration. Vibration is thought in motion. Thoughts are Thoughts are creation, right? So emotion is those thoughts that are going into motion. They're coming. So the attraction is whatever you're thinking about. Thoughts are becoming things. The environment is your looking glass. So we start to understand the mind and we start to understand what is fear. Fear is a negative vibration that is bringing to you what you don't want. Right. It's what you don't desire. So you don't want to use that energy. Understand that there's a positive and there's a negative side. If we're moving in the negative side of vibration, the negative thoughts, that is your force. That is your power. If you move it over to the positive side now, then that's what's coming. So we need to understand there's, there's, there's two flows of, two currents of energy. One's moving towards prosperity and growth. The other one's moving towards poverty. Right? We, it's a mindset. We get to choose and decide. The problem is we've never really been taught to control our mind and control how we're thinking and what we're thinking about. But that mindset is a mind direction. Either we're going up in life or we're going to go down in life. We're going to receive results we truly desire or we're going to receive, receive results that we don't desire. So we need to understand we need to stay on the positive side of the track. It's a track. It's going up or down. You can choose. So fear, doubt, and worry is the negative vibration. And again, thoughts are becoming things. So we're in the negative vibration, guess what we're attracting then? Right. That which is in harmony with it. That which is in harmony with it. You're going to get what you don't want. Exactly. You want to read the, the question? Yes. So um, she had asked, um, she said, we all have that, that desire inside of us to do something we really want. But self-doubt, lack of believing in themselves or ourselves or fear stops most people to most people to take action because they are wondering how or what their friends will think about them and this is where we need to understand if if you're worried about what your friends are going to think about you what is that that's a, a fear mindset right lack of limitation lack of limitation or Fear of success or fear of failure. Or fear of losing your friends because they think differently of you based on yep. your actions. Mm -hmm. And if you're thinking that, you're hanging around the wrong crowd. Mm -hmm. But they're not growing with you. Or helping you pull you up. You're in the wrong environment. Mm -hmm. You've got to choose your friends wisely. You've got to choose the people you hang around with because that's your environment. And your environment is creating. It's, it's, it's feeding. It mm -hmm. feeds. Right? So whoever you're around is feeding you and you're feeding them. If they're not positive and moving you, lifting you up. Okay. Yes, um, and you also have to really think about, you become the medium of the five friends you hang around. So depending on whoever you're around daily, even, even wherever you go home, who are you surrounding yourself with? Because those people are gonna influence you without you even being aware. 
because you're going to start to think like them, maybe talk like them, and even act like them. And that's why this information is very important because you're not just affecting others because you, everyone's affecting everyone. Yep. So that means I'm affecting you right now because I am speaking to you and you guys are listening to me. The people that you are sitting by right now, you are affecting. Whenever you go home, your children and whoever your friends hang around or your children hang around or your friends hang around, you become the medium of that. So that's why this information is very important and it's very important for you to be aware of what you're thinking and who you are around and why are you thinking that? Yeah, because you're gonna start to notice there's a pattern. If some, the way that people are talking around you, if they're talking about lack and limitation, that's what they're bringing. If you want to know where they're going, look at their results. If you truly want to know where you're going, look at the people you're hanging around. Because that's telling you what results they're getting, and it's telling you what you're attracting and what you're bringing in. If you want to go further than that, find a different crowd. Also look at your state of being. Like, are you full of energy and you're, you know, excited to attack the day and you're going through all these different uh, activities, right, and experiences? Or are you constantly feeling sluggish and tired and depressed, you know, and things like that? Because all that is is because you're suppressing, you're not growing, you're not creating. Because when you're in that creative state, when you're actually working towards something that, I like to say, what sets your soul on fire, that ignites that within you, then you're going to be getting fed more energy. It's going to, yeah, exactly. The more fulfilled you are, the more creation. And then it's like, because it, it wants to give you exactly what you need in order to grow and to thrive. So as we start to understand these laws and how this creative force really works with us, we really start to understand that the opinions of others really don't matter. Mm -hmm. The only opinion that matters is you. The only way that you think that matters is you. So you want to find yourself and make yourself the people that want to build you, that want to help you. The results tell the truth. They always do. So don't worry about the opinions of others. Choose your own opinions. Choose your own thoughts and make sure that they're moving in the direction that you want to go. That it's going to change you and the person that you want to become and, work and, and what you want to experience. We, only, we all have just a certain amount of time in this world. We all do. We all have the same, same 24 hours. But it's what we do within those 24 hours that dictates what? Ultimately, we're, what our, we're going to do and where we're going. Yep. What we experience and mm -hmm. dictate our entire life. Yep. So, I want everybody to understand that don't worry about the opinions of others. If the opinions of others are not taking you, moving you towards positivity and growth and prosperity, find someone else. Um, fear, doubt, and worry. That, that holds you back and it keeps you, it keeps you stuck. That fear, doubt, and worry is, is the program and it's the paradigm that's keeping you there. If you want to move out of there, surround yourself with different people, study, research, and understand whatever it is that you're working on and it's going to build more faith and more desire. As you continue to do that, things are going to get better. Mm -hmm. Better yes, and better. Yes, and also just to add um, to that really fast, um, you want to, you really want to surround yourself with those people that are going to give you the advice um, of things that you are wanting to achieve. And if you don't know who that is, well, for one, we, we love to help people. We love to help people figure out what is it they want. What, where do they want to go? Where do they see themselves five, ten years from now? What type of goals are they wanting? If you don't have those people in your life, well, we are here. We are here trying to help people. We're here to try to help you guys succeed and achieve whatever it is that you want or whatever it is that you desire. Anything and everything is possible, and we'd like to help you with that. We'd like to help get to know you guys and get to help you guys grow and do the impossible. So, well, it's what well, is perceived to be as the impossible. Yes. Yeah, that's, that's, that, well, a lot of people, they just don't see it because they don't see it, they don't believe it. Mm -hmm. I understand that faith, faith is the ability to see the invisible, believe in the credible, and that allows you to receive what the masses call impossible. Now, that's no accident, that's a process. There's a process to success, and that's what we teach here. And that's what, that's what we, this is our profession, and this is what we specialize doing. So uh, we invite you guys to come, on, come in tomorrow, mm -hmm. hop on our, our live webinar. Uh, we look forward to it. Do you have any questions? Do you want to put anything on there? Uh, anything that you want some feedback from us? Uh, put it up on the Facebook page or send us a, send us a message. Yes. Um, 
Also, if you guys don't know where the link is to register for our live tomorrow, um, please just send me a message and I'll be more than happy to send it to you guys. Um, I do have it posted. It's on Abraham, mine, and Gillis's link. So um, you guys have access to it on there. If not, just send us a message again and we will be more than happy to get you guys um, registered for that. So. Yes, definitely. All right, guys, everybody have a great day. Great start to your day and uh, be conscious. The more conscious you're aware, the more you can you can choose the direction of your life and you can overpower that fear down where you've got to be consciously aware though to make those decisions to alter your pattern plan. That means you're altering your state of thinking and the way you think, right? Mm -hmm. All right guys, everybody have a great day.